for 100 gold. Yeah. Why haven't they nerfed Crane yet? I don't know. It's going to cause a lot of hit, uh, temper tantrums. I, for one, I'm going to be outraged. I'm going to I'm gonna be outraged. No, I'm not going to be outraged. I'm going to understand. I'm going to be like, eh, this is justified. I mean, when they did the malaise thing, I was like, it makes 100% sense. I'm trying to think. What, what could they do for Pipper Crane to make it less busted? I mean, for one, you could change the rarity. I think Paper Crane's a Bosch Relic worthy. Hell yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe they, maybe they make it more rare. What's up, Solan? How you doing? The thing is about the rarities that often the best relics are not really the most rare, right? So. They would have to fundamentally change the concept between rarity and power because I think I'm gonna do evolve here. I, I've been taking evolve early, which is questionable, but I think it opens up a lot of stuff. It's just hard to get out reliably. Eggs are insane. Yep. Kunai. Shuriken. Uh, these are some awkward choices. I guess I'll do Iron Wave. I'm, uh, this deck is... It's really not doing much right now. Evolve? I think I took Evolve over something else. I'm trying to remember what I took Evolve over. Maybe that was one of the issues. Is it Resident Sleeper right now? It is. Spot weakness. There we go. That's a deck. That's a deck. That's a deck. Nunchaku! We got Medkit, guys, which is great because we also got Evolve with Medkit. So we can take things like Power Through. I like Medkit a lot. In fact, I told myself that when once Medkit becomes uh, more available, I'm going to start buying it all the time. So we're buying it. We're buying Medkit. And I'll take the pummel, because we have spot weakness. I like it. Pummel's just fine anyways, even without spot weakness. So now we can get things like power through if you're pretty good about it. Power through if you know pain kind of thing. Boom, boom. Sword Boomerang's gonna be pretty good short, uh, power, uh, spot weakness. We just gotta make sure that we're not losing track of our defense, right? I think this is pretty good. Five turns of weaken. Except it's different from Blue Candle because it doesn't cost anything to remove it. So Medkit gets rid of it for free. Blue Candle costs HP. So there is a difference. It's waking up anyways, right? I should have done the energy pack after spot weakness. I would get more value out of it. Because I would have. I would be getting more value out of the energy pack once the spot weakness is in play. And watch, we get spot weakness, of course. We get spot weakness on the turn where it doesn't do anything. That's stupid. I hate that about spot weakness. I hate that about Spot Weakness, my friends. This fight could have been so much easier.
But to be fair, Sabagus is very powerful. Ooh, we got Sir Impervious or Armaments. Armaments is really nice. I like Impervious. Big fan of Necromancer? I'll try it out. People keep telling me to try it. Did I not try Necromancer out already? Did I not do that one? Bronze Skills is super good. I think Armors is fine. Uh, can we beat Gremlin Knob? I think so. She didn't get spot weakness on a good turn. Damn it. Five turns of weakened? I think that's good. It's worth. If I get spot weakness, I'm really happy. I mean, spot weakness is always going to be playable. It's a good turn to do impervious, right? This actually might be a perfect if I get... Oh, I think we got perfects. Oh my god, holy shit. I think Twin Strike is pretty good, but we already have two ways to... We have Sword Boomerang for the way to dump strength, so I don't need to get anything else. Like, Twin Strike would be a nice way to dump it as well, but I want to keep the deck more consistent with the uh, block. So I'm going to be... Gonna be more conservative here. Wow, look at the boot go. Mr. Booty. Got the booty fruity tootie. Oh, did I have lethal? I don't think so. The Valiant was interesting. I think Valiant was an interesting uh, class. Battle Trans Fence. Oh, power through. We talked about it with Medkit. Power through. Uh, but we got to. We, that's 15 block for one. I, Battle Trans is really good, but that's 15 block for one. But we did have armaments, right? So we could have done armaments, battle trance. Um, all right. That's unfortunate. That's 12 plus 18, 30. Damn, two damage off. Feels bad. Oh, I had the boots. I had the boot. I was lying. I had the boot. The boot would have done it for me. Oh, if only I realized the boot. I'm sorry I neglected you, boot. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to. Forgive me. Oh, thank you guys. But, but don't only drop a like. Make sure you watch the video, because the watch time is important. I know that sounds like grubby, but... It's important that you guys watch the video. So yeah, if you're going to drop a like, right? Put the video in the background. Let it play out. Do all that kind of stuff. That would be really nice. What do you watch the light? I just put it in the background then. Once you can handle it, put it in the backgrounds. Appreciate it, man. I'm begging for watch time. When's the last time I had Apotheosis? It's been a long time, man. It's been a long time. Yeah, it's about weakness is so good, guys. It's like it's about weakness is so good, man. I've missed about weakness, man. This is when I when I would have like ooh, got barricader offering. Barricade's not bad because we have power through and medkit, so we can get a lot of block, especially with impervious. Yes. No longer discard your hand. That's not bad because we do have. It's about weakness we can hold on to. I think I'm going to do that. Although, yeah, I think since, since we're getting so much value, I feel like since we're getting so much value out of power through, I could afford to take Money Pyramid. I know that seems weird, but power through with medkit is giving me value that maybe I wasn't... Not, I don't necessarily shouldn't be getting that value because the wounds are supposed to be a downside. 
I think that's gonna offset. I mean, I'm saying that, I'm... Maybe that wasn't the smartest play. We'll find out. But like, for instance, I can hold on to things like Impervious. I can hold on to the strikes and guarantee lethal, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I think it's really nice. Get this arm, that's fantastic. Who's the boss? This arm's so good. I think, um, yeah, this arm's really good, guys. I need a more consistent source to weaken, so uppercut's a good way to get weakened, but I think disarm, yeah, superstar. I'll take more power throughs if I can get it. Another barricade? We got battle trance. Okay, that's good. We got panic button with, oh, I love panic button, guys. This is, this is my favorite kind of decks. We got panic button with barricade. I know it seems awkward, but if we get an artifact, that's great. I think if you use this at the end of your turn, this is really nice, especially with barricade. The alternative is to get back marbles or to remove. Removing a, removing a strike is really nice because we want to get into a more consistent small deck to at least find barricade quicker with battle tanks, but also so I can have my defense more often and also get spot weakness more often. But uh, I think Panic Button is, is such a nice. I'm one gold off, that sucks. Panic Button is such a nice uh, little addition to Oh, shit! Young Side Step Up, man. Thank you for the Switch Prime, bro. Appreciate it. Welcome. How you doing, dude? Welcome to the, G the germ pool, brother. Ocean number's not bad either. I don't want to battle transfer barricade, but I can always hold on to it, right? I'll take some damage here. Oh, we got power through. But now we're getting infecting our draws here, so we need to get some cheap cards so we can start getting our draws through. Yeah, we need to start getting some cheap cards, guys. I don't have the energy to play all these things. I think Barricade Panic Button is fine. I think we have Lethal, actually. I'm not paying attention. But I think we have Lethal. Clothesline is a good way to get consistent uh, weaken, right? And I was talking about that. How the weaken is so important. But Shock buys us for enough time to get crazy with Barricades. I'm actually going to skip because we don't have the energy... So, you know, Warcry negative is actually pretty good because this helps me clear up my hand. The fact that it's a negative effect, and then we got Funeral you know, Pain with the power through, and that's just insane block mechanics. And I think we're doing really good. I think I actually want to upgrade the barricades so I can get it played, but I also think this is not bad. Do we want to go for an elite? We could, but I really like one, two, three, four rests. Sorry. Sorry. But here's here's the nice thing though. We can hold on to spot weakness. Hold on to impervious. Spot weakness is always playable. I can hold on to evolve or I can take the damage. Impervious. Thanks for the follow, big evil legend. Mad Frost Prime. Frost Prime, welcome, man. Uh, I'm gonna do Barricade Panic Button after, but. Let's actually kill this guy. We're not eating with your girlfriend. One, hey, nice man. Congrats on one year. So we do barricade panic bun. Although that makes the next turn pretty awkward. Ah, uh, let's see what we get here. We get funeral pain, and funeral pain gives us block, right? So let's do this. I get funeral pain with some days. All right. Ah, uh, it's a little awkward. But, this is just one of the rough fights, that's all. I hate this fight.
I'm not drawing through my deck as much. Okay. Spot weakness. Attack. Power. Jesus Christ. This fight is such a pain in the butt. I probably should have went for full block, actually. I had the opportunity to go full block and I didn't. Okay, now we win. There we go. I think I had lethal and I didn't even realize it. Reckless Charge? You know, Reckless Charge is not bad because I can get rid of days for free. And that's a good way to just get a card out of my hands. And I also get value of Final Pain. So that's perfect. Let's let's play this. Let's get the cheaper. Let's get this so we can find our... Um, We got Barricade. Hell yes, guys. This is perfect. Because we got Power 3 from Pervious. It's gorgeous. I'll tell you what, though. The Snake Eye effect is really bad. For this fight. For, for my deck, because I'm really Pyramid. But I think Spot Weakness is going to be a Superstar. I should have done Shockwave first. Whoopsies. Yeah, this is going to be really bad, actually. Just realized. I might get to a point where I can't draw. No, we're fine. True Grit, that's good. Just get things out of there. Yes, I like it. Very good first turn is crazy. Crazy good. What's up, Slim Shady? How you doing, brother? They're strong. What? I've never seen them do 17 and 12 first turn. That's crazy. I've never seen that. This actually, this fight just kicking my ass now. I've never seen them do 17 12 like that. That's nuts. Hey, Beta, have fun, man. Take care. Enjoy drinking. Now I can just use my strikes and have some fun with it, right? Because we had Art of War, so now I can do four strikes. No problem. I don't have to worry about a damn thing. Love it. Panic button, it's, for me, is... Mm, I love it, man. Easy. Skippy, skippy. Although, you know, Blood is not bad, guys. It's a, it's a way to free up space in my hands because it's free, but it gives me energy. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Blood Link doesn't get enough love, I don't think. Oh, that was stupid. Panic button whenever we need it. Panic button's not bad, but... Who's the boss? I think... Is there an upgrade that's really worth it for me, or is it better to just rest? I feel like resting is better, but let's see. If I were to upgrade, what would I upgrade? Like, what's a really good upgrade? I feel like power through is a superstar, and I think it should be treated as such. You gotta treat the superstars with respect and upgrade them. Let's get these out of the way. Alright. Uh, if I get barricade early, that'd be great. 
All right, I'm a panic button now. Perfectly fine a panic button, as long as they're not kicking my ass next turn, which they most likely will. Yeah, they will. All right. All right. No, I could have killed that guy. Ugh. With the third pot. It's okay. As long as we can get things rolling. I'm okay. I'm okay. I actually want to keep the wounds and wait for power feel of pain. No, it's, it's not. Let's not do that. Okay, let's do this. I think power three is going to give us so much block with feel of pain that I can make up for this. This bad run. Should I kill this guy now? I feel like I should. Oh no. It spawns both of them. Whoopsies. Alright, boom. 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 I should probably use Seat Speed Pot. I'll use it. I should be blocking. I should be blocking. I should be blocking. Power through superstar. I need body slam. That's a great way to get my offense going. pushing for lethal here. Do I need to though? I don't need to push for lethal. Like I I I'm fine. I get an energy like this game is over. Uh, Dark Embrace, that can help with card. No, I don't think we need the card draw thing. Um, that could be interesting with Power Through. That makes Power Through like. <laughs> that makes Power Through a 1 cost 20 block with Funeral Pain 28 block draw 2. I don't need card draw. I think Fiend Fire could be good. Just thin up everything with uh, Fiend Pain and with Rune Pyramid could be good. We need energy, so we're definitely gonna want Vilva Choker. So we're gonna take the Curse Key. Beautiful. Fiend Fire is not necessary, but I, it could be useful to give like a nice little set of block in a in a pinch. You know, either to get some nice little kill or to get a nice little block in a pinch. Do I want to go for an Elite? If I go for an Elite, I get more upgrades, but it's a dangerous path. Are we scared of elites? A little bit. Are we? Let's see. Let's see what we get. This is a good time to do Panic Button because I can always do Fiend Fire next turn, right? With like Final Pain or something. 
Like, I could do Shockwave to get me vulnerable. I could do Phenol Pain. And use this as a turn to just get, like, Phenol Pain anyways. Because the one thing about Panic Button is it doesn't stop the Phenol Pain block. So I'm still getting blocked. And then I could do, like, that. Boom. Skippy, skippy. It's a pretty bad fight right now. Heavy Blade to dump the, uh, nah, I, I, I like dumping my strength with, um, I can always hold on to Heavy Blade. Who's the boss, by the way? Don't know Decca? Uh, I think using Short Boomerang is probably just enough. Or maybe, maybe Heavy Blade is good. Nah, I'm gonna skip. Ay, ay, ay. I can take this, right? Because I can remove it with the Peace Pipe. Peace Pipe is actually really good with Curse Key, because I can just take the Curse and then remove it. What's up, is Hex uh, Haxi? Welcome. What's only fun of this challenge? I think body slam. I think I think body slam would help a lot. Good damage, Chef. Welcome guys, guys. Thanks for the follow. Uh, Koya, let's play. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Bodison would be great. Yep. I think once I get Bodison in the deck, it's just that's it. I'm done. I mean, we're going to use Lunar Deca, and I have Funeral Pain with Evolve, so like, right off the bat, it's probably pretty GG. Oh, we got second, oh, Body Slam. <laughs> I got Body Slam. Do I want to go for the Elite, guys? Do I, am I in trouble with the Elite? Let's go to the shop. Fuck it. We got Funeral Pain again, guys. Okay. If you guys thought it wasn't already GG, it's GG for sure. Now, there's two things we can do. Another Panic Button, YouTube title, Double Panic Button, can it get any worse, or can you get a better deck? I don't know, something clickbaity, right? There's Offering, which will help me draw and look for things that I want to get, or there's an Anchor to get a really good first turn and helps me potentially with Barricade on the first turn. Double Panic? Double Panic Button. YouTube clickbait. Nah, I think... I think we could do Offering or Anchor. I think Anchor's probably better. No trouble with the elites. Well, now it's too late because I already went to the shop. So let's go ahead and toke out that bribe. I could have saved money for here. Where did I miss? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm going to skip this. Ah, damn. A lot of shops. Pretty bad. Okay.
What's up, Shane? How you doing, buddy? Impervious. You know what's better than Impervious? Or like similar to Impervious? Got some power through, baby. It's not as good, but damn it. Okay, I should've done Impervious, right? I would've been mitigating more damage. We have Impervious for this turn. Do we need it is the question. Because I can do Shockwave into Pummel on this guy. Let's see. Well, that guy's dead, right? I, I could just do Impervious and not take damage. Or I could do Panic Button so we can do this. Look. It's 9. It's 12. Eh. Alright. Let's just do Impervious. I think Ruin Pyramid with Barricade is so fun. I know it doesn't seem like I'm having fun, but I'm having shit ton of fun. Body spam is a way to win, huh? I forgot we have body spam now. This deck is so GG, guys. Alright, maybe the transient has something to say about this. Maybe the transient doesn't feel as GG. Let's see. What do you think, transient? Is it GG? You tell me, buddy. Look, the ball is in your court. Is it GG or not? Do I want to get rid of all of this stuff? I definitely don't, right? Because Impervious and Panic Button are so good. I should have done... Do Impervious next turn? No, no, no. Panic Button next turn. What am I doing? I shouldn't do any of this stuff next turn. Team Fire now? No point. In fact, Team Fire is a way to survive a turn. These are all ways to survive turns. So, for instance, I could do, like... Wait a second. I could do the Barricade? All right? Panic button and then fiend fire and get a lot of block off that. So this is getting rid of stuff. Or I could do strike strike panic button and then fiend fire next turn to not take any damage. I should have done vulnerable actually. My back guess. I should have done vulnerable because if I did the vulnerable, I would not be taking any damage. But now we do the um, fiend fire. Take no damage. And the next one we have body slam. Is body slam enough? Next one we have body slam. With pummel as well. Okay, we're fine next turn. Could have mitigated more damage. If I did the um, the vulnerable thing, I would have mitigated more damage. Another true grit or a juggernaut. I'm gonna skip. I don't even think I need true grit. I think the deck's done. I think there would have been good to do steroid pot. Just uh, speed pot. Might be worth to do this. Nah, it's no point. Let's look for barricade. Alright, this is fine though. This is fine. I say it's fine. I think it's fine. Bloodletting? It's not worth it. 
Love that he was useful, but to be honest, if, if I'm not getting a lot of health back, it's not it's not as good as it may appear. I think this is not bad, but it doesn't let me do the charm. But this is a lot of damage. How much this is? So we definitely do pummel first. Who am I kidding? Matter of fact, uh, maybe now. Let's do this. Nah, we don't, need, we don't need to be crazy, guys. We don't need to be crazy. We have, like, Body Slam in the deck. We're fine. Oh, I should push Spot Weakest on top. Right? Easy, guys. Just get Body Slam, GG. If it wants to show up. that That, that is if it wants to show up. Panic button now just to body slam. Is body slam lethal? If I do panic button is 40 plus another. So if I do dexterity pot, right, and and then panic button, it's 45 plus 12 plus 40, 45 plus 12. Nah, it's, I don't know why I'm thinking all this crazy stuff. Let's just let's do this. No, it's no point, Capital Chino. It's like it's not that important. Not that important, dude. We're fine. I kind of want to took out a strike instead of uh, resting, but I feel like resting is just really safe. You know what I mean? A jelly bean. You know what I mean? A jelly bean. You know what I mean? Jelly bean. Resting's really safe. I can probably afford to choke though. Ooh, hello. Let's just do this. Fuck it, YOLO. Get off the deck. You know what that does? Allows me to get body slammed faster. And that's important. What's up, Fro? It's been a while since I've oh, seen you. Oh, shit! Don Rock with the Twitch Prime. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you, man. Welcome to the germ pool. He says reluctantly, but sticking with it. Germinators. Entrench. Oh god. Wow. Okay, now I can just ret. No, now I can just tope. Took out a strike, right? The strike could get rid of itself with Fiend Fire. So let's just rest. Let's just be safe. Yeah. Let's just be safe. Wow. The last card. Entrench. Why not? Enjoy. Have fun. Thanks, game. You gotta go. Hey, Ben, take care, man. It does. It does work on wounds, but I'm getting rid of the wounds for free. I mean, I could just keep it up. Oh, let's do this this turn. All right, we gotta survive the first couple turns, right? We got the barricade out. Once we get Final Pain out, life is good. Gotta get Final Pain out. Shockwave is very nice as well. Very nice, very, very nice. Disarm is very nice. Impervious is very nice. Alright. Now we just got to um, get the final pains out, and we're good. I think Blood Lighting might be okay here. Nah, it's not. All right, final pain. So, entrench and panic button work well. Fan they work fantastically together. I know it doesn't seem that way, but if you do panic button trench, it works. Just know that it works. Um, I might do blood lane just to get rid of fiend fire right now. But then I get rid of short boomerang, which is bad. But I might just do it to do this and get rid of the strikes. Yes, do this. Keep short boomerang. Get rid of. 
the strike. Okay, I fucked that up. I meant to get rid of the strikes. I didn't have the energy for that. Whoopsies. But this is fine. Boom. One, two. Now, one thing you need to worry about medkit is that with the days you can do it on that same turn, right? So that you can get the body slam. And now we have both funeral pains out. Plus, we no longer have panic button, so we can do it in trench. Or well, trench would have worked regardless. But what's nice about medic is that you can get rid of the days on the turn to get the entrenched value. And I'm gonna do trench like that, and then we're gonna go ahead and do uh it's time to do a fiend fire. Now the, uh, the reason why I'm doing fiend fire is because that guy's gonna die first off. And then second off, we get to entrench and body slam quicker, and this is gonna be a GG. That's all we really need. Is entrench body slam. I should be getting rid of Bloodletting instead of the strike. Whoopsies. So boom, boom, boom. And that's the reason why that's nice because now I can look for uh, Battle Trance. Boom, Entrench. Oh, wait. We got Body Slam too. That's just, uh... Let's just win the game real quick. Beautiful deck, man. Beautiful deck. Oh, one of my new favorites. One of my new favorites. I've always loved Medkit. Always loved Medkit, man. Loved it so much. So we got Medkit Rooting Pyramid. This is a really interesting run. That's probably a YouTuber as well, guys. It's probably a YouTuber as well. I think this is a cool concept. Love it.